Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Look at you in your red. I know. I figured <laughs> why not do Wolfpack Red. Does this cut my head off? See? I have to get it. Okay. There you go. I feel like I haven't seen anyone from work in a while, so I'm like, oh my god, like, people. <laughs> I know. It's kind of crazy. Like, this is so I different. Know. And I know. Yeah. Well, I was really excited about this. It's kind of weird, though, because I was, like, looking back at all the check-ins and stuff, and you, like, did one of these when, I think, quarantine first started. We, mm -hmm. I think it was right before summer. But then I was like, yay, I get to, you know, interview her after she has interviewed people for years now. I <laughs> <laughs> literally but I was like thinking of like what to ask you and stuff and I was like oh my god like I have big shoes to fill like I really uh -oh. feel that way and I'm sure that like a lot of people at Pack TV and like people that you've worked with in the past uh -huh. feel that way because you're really good at what you do I just wanted you to know that before we thank get started you. thank of you course. okay so while viewers are coming in um I was trying to do research but I didn't know. Did you work at Pack TV all four years, or did you start late or in college? Or yeah, so I started late. I actually transferred into NC State. So oh, okay, I didn't for, know that. Yeah, so for three semesters, I was at UNCG, and then I transferred to Pack TV or NC State for my major because I knew I wanted to do sports broadcasting, but UNCG didn't have football. And just the ACC experience. So I decided to transfer to state and then join PAC TV my first semester there. So right when I transferred. I'm from Greensboro. I had no idea that you even went to UNCG. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. But whenever you came on campus, how did you find out about PAC TV? So it's actually funny. Um, my brother was being recruited by NC State. And so before even knowing that I was going to transfer, I was like sitting at the game with him as a recruit. And I saw the student with the little pack TV probably doing what we were there. And I was oh. like, that's so cool. That's kind of what I want to do. And I guess I just made a note in the back of my mind. And yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing it on social media from like other people that had went to schools near me. So mm -hmm. I was curious. I don't know how but that's really interesting. Probably no one else has had you know, that perspective on it. Um, so do you mind talking about like your responsibilities at Pack TV as far as like shows you've hosted, stuff like that? Um, so yes, I hosted the daily. I co-hosted the daily with Leah. Um, mm -hmm. I had the five things to know show. I did some, we were theirs. Um, I think those were the three shows that I did have, but um, I was kind of very fortunate to just kind of walk into PAC TV when some seniors were leaving and I was just starting and they kind of knew I had some previous on-camera experience. And so they were like, hey, Jasmine, do you want to co-host a show? And I was like, let's go for it. And so <laughs> with my responsibilities with that, it was actually kind of nice because you kind of get to learn. It's so funny. You would read about players and you would read about people in your class and you would know yeah. all these things where you would be like saying their name and you have no idea like you've never spoke to them before so kind of my responsibilities would just be writing scripts going to games and kind of just, just doing research and kind of finding a way to put my personality into my work and so those are the kind of things I did at PAC TV. What did you enjoy the most about your experiences at PAC TV? So I was trying to think of what question you would ask me because being on the other side, it's so funny. I so I was thinking like, I think the best things that I've gotten out of PAC TV was friendship. Mm -hmm. um, I met some really good people at PAC TV that are not only supportive and just kind of push me to always be good, but I met three of my best friends at PAC TV. Um, I met Madison, who was just wonderful to kind of just take me under her wing and just give me encouragement and just to move forward and keep going. So I think those things was the best thing I got from PAC TV while also doing something I love and getting paid for it. So I would definitely, if anyone ever asked me that question, I would definitely say that I mean it's you're getting to do like 
sports, which is what both of us have interest in, what most people at Pack TV have interest in. So you're getting to do that, but you also get to do it with people like that you enjoy spending time with. Um, right. I don't think that any of us would enjoy it if we all didn't like like each other. <laughs> like, right, right. Everyone right. gets along, and we like joke around and stuff. So I would have the same answer. Um, I know that you had another on-campus job. I don't actually know like what your title was or anything, but it was with NC State Athletics. So can mm -hmm. you like tell me about that and what that was? Yeah. So with my time at NC State, I knew you know, to have a career outside of college and broadcasting, you kind of have to have as much experience as possible. And, you know, choosing, and part of choosing to go to NC State, I actually was choosing between UNC and NC State. And the reason why I applied to NC State, because it, the application fee was $5 cheaper, and I was a broke college student. And so it kind of just worked out, but everyone would be like, you know, why didn't you go to UNC? They have a broadcasting journalism school, things like that. And it's like, well, one, it's like NC State was what I've made of it. And with this opportunity that you're talking about, you know, with NC State athletics, it's kind of like, I saw that nice studio they had that they weren't using. And I was like, I gotta use that. Right. And so it's like, thinking like that would look so good on my reel that would look so good to do something and so I just contacted I believe it was Josh and I was like hey do you guys have any more internships with ACC Network he's like no he's like what were you looking to do and I was like well I was actually looking to do some on-camera stuff and so I showed up and I pitched him this idea a pack top five and they liked it and actually it ended up playing during the live broadcasts of some events so that looked really really good on a resume but oh, I had yeah. no idea yeah I had no idea the I guess the effect that it would have but it really played a vital role into me getting a job and me yeah. being creative and finding a way to make something happen yeah I think that that would definitely set anyone apart because I didn't know that that wasn't like a thing before. So the fact that you kind of like created it and made this opportunity for yourself, um, especially for people who like want to go into sports, like people love to see that. Employers love to see that. So um, you're absolutely right. That probably helped a lot um, with you like getting your um, new job. But how did you manage doing that, um, your work at PAC TV and school all at the same time? Um, you make your sacrifices yeah. um, because with besides pack tv and pack athletics i was actually do i was part-time at nubian message i was writing and doing interviews for them but i was also technically an intern with pack pride so i was a part of a lot of things at nc state and you kind of you know you kind of miss out on some experiences like the first couple years at nc state i really didn't attend games as a fan so it was funny, my senior year, I decided to kind of pull back a little bit and kind of take in the college experience. It was my last year. I wanted to attend some games as a fan and kind of get that college experience. But when it came to balancing, you know, the thing about loving what you do is you kind of don't notice the things that you're missing out on, I should say. Um, and just, I guess, loving what you do and balancing your time and um the fact that i love sports i didn't mind being at a sports game you know it was better yeah. than any other thing so well i was asking honestly for myself because i do pack tv <laughs> i now have another job and another internship so now i'm sitting here trying to think like oh my god like how am i gonna do this but you're absolutely right like sometimes i look at my schedule and i'm like I have so much to do this week, but it ends up flying by because I really enjoy um, like being around the people that I am being around sports. So that was, yeah, that was a great answer. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're not a sport management major, right? Cause I was going to ask what your, what you graduated with as a degree. Yeah. So I got my bachelor's in communication with a concentration in media and I minored in journalism. So mm -hmm. That's kind of how I did. But it's so funny because you meet people who's sports management. You meet people who are in PR. Yeah. I just went the communication media and then journalism route for that. So, Okay. So that happened and you graduated. By the way, congratulations. Thank it's you. During a rough time, but you did mm -hmm. it. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. 
but um, so recently, like very recently, you posted and stuff and talked about how you got a really awesome new job in Charleston, which mm -hmm. by the way is not a bad place to live. <laughs> I know that that was a plus. Um, so do you mind telling what the job is and kind of like how the interview process went for that? Yeah, so it's so funny. Um, the interview process just the entire quarantine looking for a job. Um, I actually, okay, let me see. Um, <laughs> it's a, such a long story. Um, but so there was another position with them prior that I applied to um, mm -hmm. at their station. And so um, we were in the talks for a bit, but I didn't have any, I think directing experience um, so they went with another candidate. Um, but in the time that all of this was going on, I received other calls. So I actually had, I was very blessed to have multiple job opportunities and offers in this process doing different things. And so um, luckily they remembered me when it came to this sports reporting and anchoring position um, at their new station. And so they, um, you know, I applied for that position. And then in the process, you know, kind of things just happened. They called me and I talked with the lady for a little bit, the news director. And we kind of just, I guess, clicked, you know, we were just talking like a normal conversation. It didn't feel like an interview. Right. Um, even though I can talk for days. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was just a normal conversation. And she, you know, knew the position I was in being a recent graduate with COVID and trying to find a job and things like that. So she really made it, you know, nice and easy for me. Um, but yeah, so I will be actually starting the 27th of this month. Ooh, and I will it. be a sports reporter. Yeah, very, very soon. <laughs> um, and I'll be their sports reporter and anchor. So I don't know how that's going to go with everything going on sports up in the air. Right. Um, currently at this time, they don't allow some reporters in the new station. That's, you know, even locally. So probably a lot of working from home, things like that, but it will be very exciting. So that is so exciting. And probably every college student's dream to graduate and then have multiple job offers. Oh, yeah. But that's an awesome opportunity. And I know that you'll be great at it and you'll make it work. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. So Last, I just wanted to talk about um, women in sports because mm -hmm. it's a very important thing. And I know that um, in sport management specifically, we talk a lot about it and how underrepresented we are and how important it is to have women. So I just didn't know if you had any opinion on the importance of women in sports. And, um, you know, sports isn't business, honestly, sometimes before it even is the sport itself. Mm -hmm. um, so how important is it to have women in sports? You know, I think it's really important just because why not? You know, for so long, it's always been like sports has, seen, has been seen as a masculine thing or just, you know, it's always been under, you know, represented for women. And I think at this time now, it's very crucial because there's just this big push for women in sports, which is good because not only does it give sports a different perspective but we also have those same stories those that same connection to sports that a man does and so it's like why not and I think that's the critical question but at this time it's so important to have women in sports because of just everything going on I mean I feel like sometimes I'd rather watch women's basketball than men's basketball. I'll say it, you know, <laughs> fundamentally it's a lot better, but it's just like, I just always hated to see and hear stories of women not having the same opportunity as a man. And so it's nice now at this time that there is that push and there's still, you know, women are still, especially women of color are still underrepresented, but it's just nice to have, other people advocating for you, even men advocating and even seeing, um, I'll relate it to like, sadly, Kobe, he was such a push for the WNBA and like his mm -hmm. impact because women's basketball, women's sports in general is a great thing. And it's nice to see the support from not only players 
and people that are ahead of these companies, but just even like re readers, you know, I'll have people reach out and like, I love your work. And it's like, thanks, because it's like, some people won't even think to look at your work just because you're a woman. Why? Right. I don't know. But it's, it's the case. And it's nice having that this time where, you know, women are being praised for their work and given opportunities that they should have had a while ago. That I could not have said that any better. <laughs> uh, that was, yeah, I totally agree with you. And so that's why um, I thought it was really awesome that you got this like really big job opportunity, especially out of college. Um, so yeah, that's like all that I had today. But I'm really happy that you came on here to talk to me and I know that everyone from PAC TV and people that you have worked with here at state are going to be keeping up with you and what you're doing, watching you on TV, <laughs> all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, just congratulations on everything. And it's really awesome. Thank you so much. And I'm going to miss you guys. I know. <laughs> oh, we'll probably all miss you too, but, um, yeah, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.